Um, and well, I'll just listen to the news on the telly there. It's just got serious now. We're under curfew completely now because people weren't listening. So the government's got strong on us now. Boris just come on and said, you know, we're only allowed to go out now for essential shopping. We're only allowed to go out once a day for exercise. We're only allowed to go out for medicine. Um, people of key workers can only go out. Monday, so we're basically under a curfew. And if you go out, to total apart from these rules, you can um, be arrested or um, fined. Virus, well, we brought it up on really ourselves, I suppose. Um, overwhelmed with huge they're really, really worried. We're about two weeks behind Italy, apparently. apparently. <coughs> Excuse me. I no, haven't got it. In the north of but anyway, the is you know, struggling. it's the Where best thing. We have to stay safe. Um, I'm stuck indoors now. Well, anyway, each country has its own you can have little parties indoors. Bring your own stuff. You know, do things. What read? Do your computer. That's what I'm doing. Cases. I'm doing stuff on YouTube. Um, I'm doing my guitar. I've got a couple of songs I'm making up, trying to make a laugh out of it. But I don't want to make it. You know, I don't want to be insensitive. Now, the UK but we do need to have a laugh at this time. The the, but um, the yeah, so it's got serious now, it really has. And the UK reached oh, the same total. Anyway, I'll turn this round to watch a bit of our telly in England if you're abroad. See what's going on. Um, Italy, 6,000 deaths. So it looks like we're around two weeks behind them. And the social distancing that the Prime Minister has now announced, su with such stringent measures, how much of an impact can that make? Well, it can have an extraordinary impact, actually, and this is a this positive is point distancing. because it's thought that each person with COVID-19 infects around two and a half people and the, each chain of transmission takes about five days. Now, if you do nothing, if you just let them uh, walk about, then you'll have, after 30 days, 406 people infected. But if you manage to cut the exposure by 50%, then... In, and so to 1.25 rather than two and a half, then after 30 days, that will just be 15 infected people. Mm -hmm. So huge it's, it's absolutely massive, um, a 95% reduction. So it's really a lesson to us all to avoid all unnecessary contact. And that's the reason why these measures have been brought in, because it really can bear down on the virus immensely. Fergus, well, thank you very much for that. Well, let's go now to our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford, who's at New Scotland Yard for us. So, Daniel, these new measures that the Prime Minister has announced this evening, he says they will be uh, enforced by the police. What does that mean? That's scary stuff, isn't it? Well, the senior officers are still very reluctant to get involved in continental-style oh enforcement. Uh, they've always wanted to stick to policing by consent. And what they're hoping is that although they'll have fines behind them, uh, if ultimately if somebody is being totally disobedient, they will have the power to fine. What they're hoping is they're going to be able to do this really by persuasion, say that they find a, a small shop that is open, uh, they'll go down, round there with council officials and they'll say, what are you doing? Why are you still open? You know you're not supposed to be open now. We're going to stay here until you shut your shop. And they're hoping by doing that, very powerful persuasions, that they'll get away from uh, having to fine people unnecessarily. This is not a revenue-raising exercise. I hope not. Uh, somebody once said to me, this is all about trying to make sure that those shops are shut. And I think the same thing applies to this idea there should be no public gatherings of more than two people. It's very, very, very hard uh, to go in and find people, take them away, protest them at the police stations in this kind of environment. Uh, but what you can do is persuade them, say, come on, lads, you know you're not supposed to be doing this, uh, you're going to have to disperse now, and to try and police it as much as possible in that way. And they're going to need uh, to use the powers of persuasion rather than uh, manpower, because don't forget, over the next three weeks, the police themselves are expecting to lose a lot of their own officers oh, okay. through illness or through their family's oh, illness. Some officers think they could be as much as 40% down in in three weeks' time. So that's also going to be a concern in terms of trying to enforce these rules. They hope that now this is so clear that actually people will do what they're told and the police officers will only have to mop up just a few people around the edges. OK, Daniel Scanford at New Scotland Yard. Thank you. So what else will this evening's announcement mean for how we live our day-to-day -day lives? In a moment, we'll be speaking to John Kay, who's in Bristol, and Emma Simpson, who's at London King's Cross. But first, Sarah Corker is in Manchester City Centre for us. So, Sarah, exactly what does the Prime Minister's announcement mean in terms of what shops we can go to, what shops we can't go to? 
How's it going to work? Well, well, these I'd imagine this is not, we're not alone, obviously, we're doing this in Bangkok, distance after New York, some ignore everywhere, the Sri Lanka, Philippines, the the and the message um, from the Prime Minister there the is you must only go out to Spain, shop obviously, to pick Italy, up obviously. essential supplies. And from midnight tonight, all non-essential retail stores will have to close. So wow. that includes clothing shops and electronic stores. And those who don't essentially sell food and right. vital supplies, they will no longer longer be allowed to stay open. But over the course of the last couple of days, many big name retail chains have already made that decision to close to protect their staff and their customers. So to That's name a thing. few, John Lewis, HMV, oh, man, Primark, they to, um, they've already well. shut their doors. And in fact, there weren't many shoppers coming in in the first place. And from tonight, McDonald's and Subway takeaways, no, they harm. will Keepers also close. As for the list of those that will be able to remain open, as vital retailers, we understand they will include supermarkets, pharmacies, funeral homes and also online shops. That isn't the entire list, but it gives you a sense of the types of things that are deemed as vital in these circumstances. And one thought. thing that will also help some of these businesses that will be under great guys, financial strain, as well. you remember the government said on Friday it will pay 80% of staff wages for those affected by these closures. Yeah, long okay. you're not self-employed. So, thank on. you. John Kay Look in Bristol. Self-employed. Very strict rules now about when and why we can leave our homes. Yeah, Fiona, well, right through what do you think, people? Weekend, it's not bright, is it? But there you go. Places like this, this park in Bristol have been We've got to keep ourselves safe, safe, haven't we? And as I this afternoon, there were kids and oh, families man. unable to go to people school. People in the park. So playing on the climbing frames here do? instead. But have to from stop. now on, all of that changes. The Prime Minister says that although parks What do you think, folks? Leave some comments down below. We'll talk and have a chat. You can see what you think. People abroad, if you're interested, you can have a chat. For exercise only. If you're lonely, we can all talk. Apart from that, the other things you might come to park for will close anywhere you might gather so the climbing people, frames, give them a knock, areas like sure that okay. will shut down the cafe over there where you might get a takeaway coffee or tea will shut down the tennis courts where you might go and have a quick match will close down basically anywhere where people wow. congregate we've seen those pictures across the country over the weekend of, of groups of people gathering that is what the prime minister the government the vi the advisors the oh, scientific dear, dear. advisors are trying to crack down on they say that the police as Daniel's as well. I've got my could videos. issue fines and dispersal <laughs> we can jump around the room. to try to move people oh, on man. And you can kind of begin to get your head around that when it's a your coldish, dark night in March. But just remember, the clocks go forward oh, yeah. uh, at the weekend. And there's no time summertime. limit on this. So the adjustment in all our lives is only, I think, just beginning to dawn on all of us. As the weather Absolutely. gets better, as the nights get longer, how something like a trip to the park, everything... Is about I to know change. this is going to sound really horrible, John, but I think well, let's talk now to it doesn't really sink in because you're not yeah, seeing anything, you're not seeing deaths, so you're hearing of them, you're not seeing them. I think once people start having families members going, which is horrible, horrible, then well, it'll really get serious and real to everybody. Already, it's so far removed from normality, isn't it, Fiona? I'm at one of London's busiest stations and I could count the number of passengers on the concourse on my fingertips. It's extraordinary, so eerily quiet. And yet the course, funny thing is the tube today was people were crazy, they were packed in there like sardines. So just to reiterate, the trains are still running but it's a reduced service. They're mm. focusing on keeping the key Anyway, as you can see, it's got serious now in London, everywhere else I suppose as well. But anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll keep you updated on stuff like this if you need it. If you want it, I mean. Um, please subscribe, hit like or dislike if you don't like it. Um, or give suggestions if you like and um, stuff you want to see. And uh, please subscribe on the little gladiator down there, or the dog, little picture of a dog. Click subscribe and um, any, any new stuff comes out, I'll send it to you. You know, you'll get flagged up. You won't pester you, but you'll get flagged up. There's a little bell as well. You click on that if you want to see all the videos I do. All right, then. Bye. Thanks for watching. Take care. Be safe. Look after yourselves. Bye. Thank you very much. And in the last few minutes, Labour has welcomed the Prime Minister's announcement. The shadow.